Thanks for joining in this afternoon. I thought that I would pop on real quick. I've probably done a video like this quite a few times before, uh, but I'm going to be making uh, Epicure Euros, henceforth to be known as Donairs. Hey, Lori. Um, Donairs. But I'm going to be making Euros, and um, it's best to make them in advance and then let the loaf cool off so that you can slice it easier and pan fry it to get those nice um, crispy pieces, right? So before I get into that, I wanted to talk a little bit about the new catalog and the new products. Do you guys want to know what's coming for spring and summer with Epicure? Do you have a guess as to how many products are going to be added to the catalog? It's huge. <laughs> um, this is the new catalog right here. That's all you get to see of it. <laughs> it's really, really, really a sneak peek. But if you are um, very um, curious and don't want to wait until May, Next Saturday from, uh, I believe, noon to 2 Central Standard Time, Epicure is putting on a virtual season launch. It's going to be two hours, and they're going to show a good number of the new products. And there's going to be giveaways and prizes, and um, it's going to be really exciting. So if you want to be in on that global launch, um, new season launch, and find out earlier than May 1st, um, let me know and I'll make sure that you're added into that group, um, which is on next Saturday, the 18th. I'm pretty sure it's noon to 2 central time. So um, what else do we got? What else do I got? I'm gonna make the euros because now that my family is home from their walk early, too early, um, it is very simple to make the euro mix. So I have in my uh, bowl here, I have one pound of lamb and one pound of ground beef. And you could do all beef, you could use chicken, you could do all lamb, you can do whatever you want. But it's very simple, the directions. Um, I already cut this open, so I'm trying to be careful with it, but you add a quarter cup of water, which I use uh, the Epicure Prep Bowl. They have measurements right on the side, so I've got my quarter cup of water. And that just helps to rehydrate and mix everything in. Hi, buddy. Um, and then the packet. And then I'm going to smash it like crazy. You think 30 meals is too many, Lori? Well, you don't have to eat them all in one day. <laughs> Do you plan on eating 30 times in the next, I don't know, six months? <laughs> um, I'm not going to do this on camera because that's just like gross, but you would just smash this whole thing up. And then this is the Epicure silicone, um, the rectangular loaf. There are larger ones, but this is the one that kind of goes with the recipe but you could certainly make it in the other ones. But this actually fits two pounds of meat. Isn't that crazy? Um, put it in there as a loaf and you can do this in the microwave for 14 minutes, I think, 13 minutes. Or you can bake this in the oven um, at 375 for one hour. Totally your choice um, as to if you want to microwave cook it or oven cook it, but this works in both cook appliances um, and then after it cools you just slice it into thin um, little pieces and then pan fry it up to get it nice and crispy. We like to serve ours with chopped up cucumber and then I will use um, my little prep bowl here to make um, the Epicure Big Burger Sauce. That is um, almost full with mayo and then like a little bit of ketchup and then you just mix the dry Big Burger blend into it. I wish we had a bigger bowl of this because my family goes nuts for the Big Burger sauce and um, I end up having to refill this a couple times because this makes enough for us to eat for like four or five meals <laughs> and we don't mind having it four or five times in a row. 
um, because it's that good and it's our favorite. So more traditionally, you would make a tzatziki sauce, which um, involves the Epicure lemon dilly blend and having like some grated cucumber in here and um, I think Greek yogurt and some lemon juice and just mix that in. That's a more traditional pairing for a gyro, um, but we really love the big burger sauce. Um, so that's how we do it. So um, again, if you want to be in on the virtual launch for next Saturday, comment and let me know. Take your sneak peek right there. A little, little bit more of a sneak peek. There you go. Oh, that's so dangerous. But I hope you guys are having a great Saturday, staying safe out there. And um, let me know if you are interested in hosting an online cooking class. I have some availability, not this upcoming week, but after that we're doing, you know, something good to distract people. Everybody's having to uh, cook a lot more at home, right? <laughs> um, it gets a little stale, it gets a little old, so why not get some fresh ideas from somebody like me who has just an enormous catalog at my fingertips all with meals that are ready in 20 minutes or less. And um, you know, who doesn't need that right now, right? Just slam that easy button on dinner and you could help me to spread the word of Epicure to your friends and family and you'll get rewarded with some free dinners in the process or free cookware. So um, I think that's it. I'm the rambling queen, but I just wanted to pop on. Hey, Tabitha. So. Check it out, comment, let me know what you want more info on, and I will talk to you guys again real soon. Have a great weekend.